Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make um, an iron golem farm. It looks like this, actually on the outside. Um, this farm actually doubles as a regular mob farm too. So if any mobs wander into this thing, they will you will also get um, their drops. Unfortunately, you won't get any rare drops because I believe you actually need to kill the mobs yourself to get the rare drops, but you'll still get um, their regular drops. So, and more specifically, there is there seems to be a um, a weird phenomenon that happens when you at night when you exit and close the game because there's all these villagers here, you get a whole bunch of zombies that spawn around the perimeter, and they're attracted to to the villagers. So they actually they just they come right in and fall in. It's it's a quick way to get zombie meat, I guess, if you you really want it. So, um, without further ado, let's let's get into to making this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is locate the center. This is where you're actually going to collect all your villagers. They're going to be, I like to just mark it off by um, a little block here. So this is where their feet are going to be. Now I'm just going to build a cage. So it's, it'll look kind of like this. Okay, and then I just remove these little corners here. And that. Okay, so now you got a little cage. This is what's going to hold your villagers. So as you can see, it'll be just like that. Um, I'll just get rid of him for now. Okay, and then from here, you want to actually go out eight blocks in all directions. And that's going to be your perimeter. So using the center point, we're going to count eight. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fortunately, my bed's there. Eight. So a golem can spawn right here. So we're going to put up a wall right there. Um, since this is also going to double as like a zombie farm or a creeper farm, anything that basically falls into it, the wall is only going to be one high. In my previous two videos, my previous two iterations of this trap, I made this wall too high, but that just resulted in all the mobs on the outside trying to get in, and so it was a lot of, um, it was it was a waste because you had all these mobs out here that you could also kill and get their drops since you know since they're there. So, um, so you count out eight that way. Count out the eight this way. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So get out of the way. There we go. We're gonna put one there. And do this on all sides of this. Eventually, you're gonna connect it up like this, and it's going to form a square. So I will be right back when I have that complete. Okay, so after you get your perimeter down. So inside of here is actually where all the golems can spawn. What you want to do then is we need to start making the, the point where we will um, push them to to actually kill them. Um, and what I do is create, use this as a center point. So this block right here. And I'm going to create a 3x3 three three square around this block. So like this, what do we got here? 3 there there okay actually just so I have a little more room I'm just gonna go out one more square here okay and now we're gonna dig down golems are actually three high so in order for them to even get into the hole where they are going to be harvested you need to go three below this block otherwise they're gonna hit their head on this when they come down so just take this down three. All right, what are we? We're at two, so we gotta go one more. Oops. Okay, so now this is where the golems can clear. And then what I do is create a little shelf here. What we're gonna do is kind of like a funnel. We're gonna funnel them into this middle section. So I'm gonna get rid of all this. So now you can see there is one ledge and then down to the middle. I'm going to do that again for this next ledge. Okay. Oh, 
One more. Okay, and then we're going to do one more ledge up at the top. There we go. So now we have a little funnel going into the center. Um, and every time they drop down, they should be able to um, miss this block from hitting their head, so they'll be fine. Okay. Alright, so actually you need to... Um, this is the hole that they're going to drop down. So really this is going to be lower. Because they're going to drop into this. And then the ring should start um, around. Because otherwise they are going to hit their head on that block and they won't... Uh, they won't go in the, into the hole. So let me just clear the rest of this out. Just basically make this one ring wider. There we go. Oops. Whoops. Uh, one more. Dang it. Okay, uh, let me make a day quick. Okay, and then we want to actually dig this down. Well, we'll leave it like this for now. You want to put signs, so we need a sign. Put the signs right here. These are just a base because we need to put the signs on top of it. There we go. Come on. There we go. And you actually need these bottom signs here because if you take them away, the the sign on top of it will pop off. So you really need those signs there. And then after you get them, you want to put... Oh, where did that one go? Not there. You want to put them in front of each other like this. Okay. There we go. Now when the water flows down these these little paths here, it's actually not going to flow to the center. It'll push them to the center, but this will be open, so they'll just fall. All right, and then we want to dig this down at least um, three blocks down. All right, and then we're going to go one more layer, actually. Three blocks down from, from these signs. Okay, and now I'm going to dig out a little section here. So this is where the golems are going to be um, pushed to. So there's going to be water here. They're going to push them this way, the golems and the zombies, actually. And what we're going to do, I'll go in one more. Okay, and then it's going to be right here so let's widen this right here we're gonna have lava so for now we're gonna put this here and here um, it's gonna be lava right there and we need a sign over here to stop it from flowing let's see what else we need a sign here and a sign here okay this is actually what's going to do the killing. There we go. So now, when the golems get pushed into here, they're going to step in, they're going to burn and drop their items right here. This is actually going to be, you'll put a water right there. That will push all the items this away. Actually, also, uh, hold on a second, I noticed one more thing. We need to put this down. There we go. Now. Now we're good. So now we're going to put a water here. Put a block there. There we go. I'm just going to clear this out until the water stops here. Okay. So. Come on. Okay, so the zombies and 
golems are going to come drop down this hole, they're going to come into this water, and they'll be pushed right into this lava blade. Um, so actually we can cover... yes. We can cover that up. And I think we can cover that up too. Yep. So they'll be pushed right into this lava blade, they're going to die and drop their stuff. Um, actually this needs to be... let's use the iron blocks because they're cool. This needs to be closed off, otherwise the the mobs that are too high, so zombies, skeletons, creepers, will still get through. The The goal of this, since zombies, skeletons, and creepers are too high, so they actually wouldn't hit this, but unlike golems, when they are in water, they actually jump. So they're going to be jumping and hitting their head into this lava. So everything's good there. Alright, kind of dark in here, let's light it up. If you want, you can... Clean this up however you like. I'm just going to stretch it out here. Alright, I think that's good enough. There we go. We'll just put it right here. You can make stairs down however you like. Alright, so now that we got that going, we have the basics of the trap here. So they're going to fall down this hole and go in. So now to actually um, build the second part, which is the houses. So golems need at least 16 villagers and 21 houses to spawn. So let's grab doors. Doors represent a house here. So grab a door. And what we're actually going to do is I'm going to build a little platform for um, the fake house that houses that we're going to set up. Okay, so actually what we're going to do then is take um, this center point and make a 5x5 five five, um, square around it. So we got 3, 4, 5. This is going to be the base of the, the uh, 21 houses. Actually, it's going to be 22 houses when we're, when we're done with it, but... Okay, let's put it together. As you notice, the cross fits in there rather well. Fill in the center. Leave the middle block open. That's where we're going to put our villagers. So every 16 villagers, you can spawn one golem. So if I have 16, I'll get one golem. 32, you can have two golems at one time. And so on. So I'm just going to put 32 in here for now. So I think we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thirty. Thirty one, thirty-two. Okay, now you can cover this up. Getting them in here is actually relatively easy. If you find a, a village... You can actually put villages into minecarts, and you can create a minecart track to a hole. So you could, if this was the hole, you could have the minecart track here. You could even um, set up a little container like this. So you would have the minecart track right here. It'd be inside there. You could actually dis destroy, destroy the minecart, so the villager then won't be in the minecart, and you can just push the villager right into the hole. That's a pretty effective way on getting them getting them into the hole. Just remember, when you find a village, you want to destroy... Um, after you get your village population up and you're ready to put them into a hole of this and make a, a trap, you want to make sure you destroy all the houses around. Because the way a golem spawns is it'll take the average center of all the houses in the town and if all your houses are spread around the area, the average is not going to be within this circle or this ring that we made right here. So all your houses have to be centered around this point, actually this specific point, in order for the golems to spawn out. So what we need now are doors. And what you're going to do is put two doors like this. So you got two doors. So essentially this would be two houses. And then on each block, you're going to put another door. So there's five more doors. we got to put the doors out here. Another door, door. 
Eventually, when we're done, we should have um, 22 houses, 22 fake houses, that is. Um, I have a mod installed, actually. The definition of a house is, is rather complex. It has to do with a certain number of blocks away from a door constitutes a house. Um, basically, the mod I have will tell you how many villagers and houses you have. It doesn't show up right now. It would show up right here. Um, and that's because this is actually isn't even a house yet. So to make it a house, oh, we need to put these blocks. As you can see, it popped up here. It tells us how many villages we have, how many houses we have. Like I said, we need 21 houses for this to work. So if we do this and that, now we have enough houses. So adding this little structure in the middle is what makes it um, an official house. So let's turn that back off. Whoa, a lot of leg all of a sudden. Okay, I just put those up there so mobs don't spawn. Um, not really sure I'm getting so much leg. So, we have that. Let me close some programs here, fix this lag issue. Be right back. Okay, I um, think that's decent. So now, now you got the houses there. Um, and I'll put a link in the, the description for this mod here. It actually tells you how many villagers you have, um, how many golems that you have. So right now I have zero. This little parentheses mean you can have two. Uh, how many houses I have. And if I'm in the golem spawn zone. So I am in the spawn zone. As I mentioned, there is a. it calculates the center point. So it says right here, distance to center is six. So I'm six blocks away from, from where they're standing. Um, so as you, see, as you can see, I'm out of the spawn zone. And I'm in the spawn zone. Um, so now the next part of the trap is to add water. So we need to add water to every one of these corners here. Um, there we go. This is going to push them towards the center. And as you can see, the water flows um, towards the center. So it creates this square um, to get around this so we don't have to put more water blocks down. If you put a block here, oops, put a block here, the water has is going to try and flow around it to the center. So keep putting blocks until it no longer flows around the block. So it ends right there. So then you can remove these blocks and now the water fills in basically all this open area. Uh, do that for every side. So we're going to put one there. Okay. We'll do another one here. And on this side. This side, two more left. Okay. So then you'll notice there are one block gaps um, on every side. All you're going to do is put a water block right in those spots. There we go. And there we go. Now, this is fully functioning. And we have our 22 houses. Golems are going to spawn. They're going to come in here. Um, since there's so many villagers here, they actually attract zombies. So as you can see, there's zombies coming. And since there's only one high, he's going to jump in. He's going to come down. Um, we'll just ride with him. Fall down. He's coming down here. And now you can see how he's jumping. And he's going into the lava. And actually, we have to remove there. Golems would have got stuck right here because it's they would hit their head right about here. So now with that gone, they can fall in. Um, there is a 1 in 7,000 chance of a golem spawning. So it could take some time, depending on, you know, kind of how your luck is, if you're, or how the game decides to, to treat you. There's a random number generator that, in the background, that randomly generates a number between... 0 and 6,999. If that number happens to be 0, a golem will spawn. So really, that's where the 1 in 7,000 chance comes from. Um, I've waited anywhere from 5 minutes to 10 minutes before. Sometimes they spawn right away. So you'll, you'll get one spawn, and then you'll get another spawn, which is, is nice, but um, it, it all depends. 
Also, I'll show you... Let's help this guy in. I'll show you what I mean by the little... The, I call it a glitch. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but it, it's really weird behavior. When you close the game and reopen it, you'll get a horde of zombies that will spawn. So as you can see, there's only there's a couple zombies around, but there's not a lot. So if I close the game, so I'll save and quit. I'll go back into the game. There we go. See, there's a whole bunch of them just spawned. Um, and then they're going to work, work their way over here and fall down and die. Let's go see their drops. There you go. I don't think you're going to get any rare drops, but you'll still get... Zombie flesh, if, if you need it. Um, so that's good for that. And you can actually keep exiting and closing the game, and zombies will keep spawning around this place. So, yeah, let's do it again. We'll exit. Go back in. Zombies, there we go. Oh, oh, wow, they're spawning right in the middle now. So as you can see, they spawned around. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen. So that's, that's interesting. Um, now they're trying to beat down the doors. So, huh. And then like I said, there's that 1 in 7,000 chance of getting a, a um, golem. So actually, I'm going to pause the recording here and I'll come back once we have a golem. Just to prove that they, they do spawn and uh, you can get them. So... I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Um, actually, the the golem spawned um, inside this this house, so I didn't have these on here, and the golem was just standing right here, so hanging out. Um, I pushed him down. He's standing right here, actually. He's not. Um, I blocked that off so they wouldn't die, so I could show everyone. But to to fix that, just cover this up, and if you see. You're not actually in the spawn zone anymore, whereas right here they were in the spawn zone, so that's why they spawned. But with this block, they're three high, so they won't be able to fit anymore, and they can't spawn this high. So now it should be... Oh, another one just spawned. So, actually, let's clear this out then. And see this thing in action. All right, so they drop down. going to go in there to die. Let's go check out their drops. They take a little bit to, to die because they have a lot of health. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, and two roses. What is this one going to drop? One, two, three, four, five, and two roses. That's actually the max drop that you can get. So, let's go check it out. Alright. And uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.